Today we're going to be talking about Arsenal versus Chelsea. Welcome to another Tactics Corner with uh, myself, Bradley Morrison. Today we're going to be going over Arsenal versus Chelsea. It was the second leg of the semi-final of the Carabao Cup. And this one was taking place at Arsenal, so Emirates Stadium. So obviously we're going to analyze the first goal from Chelsea, and then we're going to analyze the two goals from, from Arsenal. Okay, Arsenal went with basically the same lineup. Okay, this time... Uh, Ozil comes in from the last game, and then they have three in the midfield. So with El Nini, Wilshire, and Shaka, and then they go with a back four. So Nacho Monreal is a left back, Bellerin on the right, and then Koscielny, Mustafi, and then the Carabao Cup keeper Ospina in goal. Okay. And the one change from Chelsea from the previous game is Hazard goes in as the number nine. And then you have Willian and Pedro comes in, okay? And then underneath them, as the two holding, you have Conte and Bakayoko. And then Asbilicueta, Christensen, and Rudiger make up the back three with Alonso and Victor Moses, okay, as the wingbacks, all right? So first off, one of the initial thoughts is they're, they're going to look to use the speed and combination skills of Pedro, Willian, and... Hazard as that front three, okay? And we can really see this happen when we analyze the first goal. Chelsea wins possession of the ball and they build out of the back. And so as they're building out of the back, they start on the left and they, they move the ball to the right side of the field. Arsenal's pressure just drops uh, to around the D or the halfway line. But one issue that happens here with Arsenal's pressure, and I'm just gonna stop it here, is as that ball goes out to Aspilicueta, nobody pressures him, but he's able to play Conte with no pressure on the ball, and Conte is able to turn and drive. You've got Pedro, you've got Hazard, and then you have Willian that are all nice and tight forming this little triangle. Okay, so now that causes confusion for the back line of Arsenal. So Mustafi steps in to, to defend Willian, and Koscielny picks up Pedro. Now Bellerin is forced to stay wide because there's always the chance that Marcus Alonso could get the ball because he's wide over on the outside. So now that leaves Hazard, Willian, and Pedro in kind of this, you know, the zone that you're looking to attack, which is basically getting those spaces in between. Conte picks out a pass, Hazard does a nice little dummy, and as soon as that ball reaches Pedro, they're in trouble because now Koscielny is defending two versus one because Mustafi moved into the space. Koscielny didn't get tied on Pedro. He kind of dropped off as that ball was played. Pedro's able to turn take two touches, play Hazard through on goal, and then two touch, nice left-footed finish for Hazard uh, into the bottom of the net. All right, so early on in the game, the combination between Willian, Hazard, and Pedro was good up front, and they were able to get pressure on the ball as well uh, defensively. But in this attack, they moved. Arsenal didn't get pressure on the ball, so that's the first goal for Chelsea. So Arsenal's goal, um, some say it's luck, some say it's skill, uh, but in, in this corner kick, as you notice, Ozil plays the ball. And as you can see, Nacho Monreal's man is actually kind of picked off by Koscielny. So Koscielny runs between Monreal and his defender, and that leaves Monreal in space to win the initial header. So now they're dropping off, and of course it is a little bit unlucky. He heads it into Alonso's head, and then that header goes off Rudiger his head and then it wrong foots the goalkeeper and it ends up in the back of the net so he definitely planned that one definitely okay so now when we flip to the second half the mood of the game kind of changed we're going to look at the second goal by by arsenal and what happens here is the ball is played out from the corner kick it's kicked straight up in the air pedro actually has a good first touch and uh his second touch is then one from uh, Iwobi, okay, so as you can see, Iwobi does something very good here. He takes two touches, picks his head up, finds Shaka on the far side of the field. Okay, so now in this, I'm going to freeze it right when Shaka picks up the ball. And as he's picking up the ball, you can see Marcus Alonso is inside of the field. So now that leaves the back three of Chelsea very exposed. So when Rudiger runs out into the channel to pressure Shaka, Lacazette makes a run 
into the 18 yard box. As Lacazette picks up the ball, you have Ozil inside of Aspilicueta. What they don't see is Rudiger goes to pressure. As Xhaka plays the ball, he continues his run straight into the box and you can track his run. No one picks up Xhaka the whole time. He runs, runs, runs straight to the top of the six yard box. Nobody picks him up. I think Bakayoko points to someone to try to leave him. Doesn't pick him up. Of course, deflection, yes. But if you're not defending, then this will happen, <laughs> okay? And Jaka's in a good area. The ball deflects straight to him. He's left-footed, luckily. He can use his left, tuck it into the side netting, all right, for the goal and the lead, okay? And so now you get into this situation where you feel Chelsea really has to go for it. Chelsea has made a couple changes to the team. All right, what really hurt in the first half was probably have, needing to sub off Willian because of the, the dynamic nature of Willian, Pedro, and Hazard. If you look back at the stats actually in the game, each team had 11 shots in the game, okay? But the shots on goal were four for Arsenal and only one for Chelsea. And, and um, we'll bring in a little banter here, and I'm gonna show you uh, the clip that when I knew Arsenal was gonna win this game. And this is when Hazard's in on goal and uh, he conveniently falls down. So here's the clip of Hazard. He's in behind. Mustafa, can he catch him? And Hazard falls to the ground. <laughs> All right. And so here you can see these ball possession stats. Uh, as the second half went on, Arsenal got much more of the ball. And now in the, in the final third, in that final third, they had 22 on the left side, 10. In the, in the middle zone and then 15 on the right side, you know, so that more than doubled their ball possession in that final third in the first half. At the beginning of the first half, the pressure from Chelsea was very good in the attacking third to win the ball immediately back. So here we see a chance where Marcus Alonso gets the ball, he plays to Conte, Conte plays it out wide, it's just behind Victor Moses. And so now Iwobi is able to win the ball and when Iwobi wins the ball and picks his head up, as you can see in this picture here, he has nowhere to play. Lacazette is pressured by Aspilicueta. Williams around the ball. Uh, Bakayoko's there in the middle. Rudiger's pushed up, marking Ozil, and everyone is pressed around the ball. So Awobi just kicks the ball towards the center. <laughs> it's picked up by Marcus Alonso, who plays a quick pass to Pedro, showing up for the ball. And then the ball back to Bakayoko, and then he skies the shot over. But you can see there a quick transition from Chelsea at the beginning of the game. When Arsenal win the ball, they want to stay high. They want to make the field small and press the ball to win it back, okay? And we'll show you one other clip of this early on in the game. Chelsea has a free kick. They're going to play the ball long into Hazard, who's making the run, pushing on Mustafi. Mustafi's able to win the ball, but you can see, look how tight and compact Pedro, Willian, and Hazard are a nice tight triangle. And so as the ball falls to Nacho Monreal, he's pressured by Willian. All he can do is kick the ball in the air. And now El Elneny heads it on. Conte's there to press. Victor Moses is there to press. Conte wins the ball back. And now they can play out. And so now they make the space big and they've gained possession in the attacking half. And so those are two examples of how in the first half, Chelsea was really pressing Arsenal with those front three to win the ball back. And, uh, create chances on goal. And so now in the second half, this is the beginning of the second half, Hazard making a darting run in the 49th minute. Now if you look at the difference of the front three, so now you have Ross Barkley on his left, Pedro on his right, nice and wide. Okay, so now Hazard comes in, it's actually a good tackle by Xhaka, Mustafi clears the ball out. Now when Awobi picks it up, look, look at the gap behind him. And so Victor Moses is coming to press Awobi, uh, gives him about five yards of space. He's able to turn, play the ball out into Xhaka. And now look, the back set six of Chelsea are still at the halfway line. They haven't made their way up the field. And so this, is, this becomes a theme in the second half that Arsenal isn't putting in as much pressure in their defensive third. And they're able to build the ball out and then get into the attacking half. And that equaled more chances on goal and more key passes. So now... When Arsenal is able to keep possession longer and in the attacking half, they're actually able to press the ball to win it back in the attacking half and create those chances that Chelsea were early on in the game. The best example of that is Arsenal's second goal when they're able to win the ball back with the Wobie, switch the point of attack quickly, and now they have Chelsea stretched out across the back 
and uh, they finish with Jaka. So overall, I think it was a deserved result for Arsenal. So now they face Manchester City in the final of the Carabao Cup. Um, we hope that you like the breakdown today of Arsenal versus Chelsea in the Carabao Cup semifinal. If you have any comments, please leave them below and then let us know if there's any games you'd like us to analyze in the future.